Hello and welcome to a brand new series. This is MotoGP 20 and uh, the first time I've actually played uh, any of the MotoGP games on the channel but it's a game uh, that I've, I've always enjoyed watching and enjoyed playing a couple of the games as well and uh, yeah I think I'd just give it a go this year so hopefully uh, you guys are good and, and uh, I look forward to seeing something a little bit different on the channel. I'm Joe if you are new around here so make sure you do uh, press uh, the subscribe button for daily sports and retro gaming content so uh, we'll stick with high frame rate I suppose uh, and we'll do that that sounds good to me uh, just turn it down it is a little bit um, a little bit loud uh, I think I'll stick with medium for now just because you know, I'm 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 not great at these games, and that's probably even too high, uh, to be honest with you. So, yeah, looking forward to, to getting into it. Manager career, of course, we'll give that a go uh, in today's episode. So, we'll just quickly go through the details, so you guys can have a look at uh, this game, and uh, it looks really really good. Uh, I'm looking forward to to uh, getting into it, as I say. So, yeah, um, with Mortal GP, you know, I I used to watch it uh, a reasonable amount while it was on the BBC, but since it's turned to BT Sport, I haven't caught too much of it, to be honest with you, so um, <laughs> I will be a complete noob, so just to warn you, but uh, you know, if you're looking for a more laid back series of this game, then perhaps uh, stick about and see how we get on. I think we'll go for that guy. Age 22. Nationality, not Italian. Funnily enough, but we'll go with Great Britain. So there we go. There we are. And we'll continue on. And if you can hear the PS4 Pro in the background, then uh, you know, eagerly ed. But nothing I can do about that fan, I'm afraid. It honestly sounds like a jet engine half of the time. But uh, here we go. Obviously, you can see there's uh, lots of different modes. There's quick modes, customization, historic mode, uh, which I think maybe debuted last year on, on 19. Can't quite remember now. Uh, multiplayer there, but uh, we'll be focusing on the career mode in this series. So, welcome to the new Moto GP 20 managerial career. Step into the shoes of a professional rider and begin your journey towards the world championship title. Get ready to confront the Mortal GP heroes and to deal with all aspects of the life of a real racer. So select your debut class by starting straight from Mortal GP or by climbing your way up from Mortal 2 to Mortal 3. With the help of a personal manager you will find contracts with the official teams uh, or uh, with new teams that will be set up as the seasons go by, contact a team that you are interested in joining, receive a contract proposal and sign up. Take to the track during MotoGP winter tests, help your team to address bike development issues, and manage your technical staff and hire a chief, a chief engineer and a data analyst who can help you collect data on the bike. Uh, contact the parent company and ask for support to improve your bike by uh, accessing the new development tree system so we do have a choice here now probably ordinarily I would start with Mono 3 but I'm not entirely sure this is going to be the longest of series if you guys really enjoy it maybe it will be um, but I would imagine even if you do start in Moto GP it will be a couple of seasons before you start competing massively so I think I'm just going to start with Moto GP um, just to sort of hit the ground running if you like and maybe show something a bit different to, to other career modes because pretty much every man and his dog will be starting at Moto3 so let's do something a bit different and go with MotoGP so here we go uh, we've got different personal managers we've got uh, Mario Costa uh, signed on bonus 22,000 credits annual salary of 104,000 Okay, so they're all the same. Many years experience specialised in economic negotiations for bonuses and salary rates, specialised in getting good salary offers, 
specialised in seeking out offers to sign on from teams. Is there any British ones now? Let's go with him. He looks trustworthy. He's got some decent stats as well. Quite balanced, so we'll go with him. Are you sure you want to sign this guy? Yes! Let's sign him. So there you go. Down to 28,000 credits now. So we've uh, got different teams that we can uh, sign for. Obviously, a couple here that I don't think exist. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and then there's uh, Red Bull KTM Tech 3. Obviously, the team performance is, is quite terrible uh, for all of these teams. Um, but their max performance is pretty good. So, I might go with this Hertz. I quite like the, the, the logo KTM Hertz team. Um, term of contract two seasons, which sounds good to me. Uh, you can see the race goal is top 15. Uh, annual salary is a lot less so. Um, nah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's go for this one. Uh, so there you go. Nice signature there. But uh, we'll see how this, how this all works out. We'll try and get the first race done today. I think I will, you know, do short races. Um, Maybe just for now. Uh, you can see our rider there. Whoops. Okay, helmet. So there's different helmet designs. I quite like that one. Looks like the 2006 Renault F1. Uh, yeah, let's stick with that. Um, number. Now, any good numbers for me? Eight. Yes. Eight. Can I customise that? Or number editor? Oh dear. Oh, there's a there's a lot of stuff to... Uh, oh, what have I done? Please don't say that's going to quit everything. Please don't say that. Oh no, it's okay. It's okay. So, uh, yeah, I'll stick with that number for now. I'm sure you can edit these things as we go through. Ride a sticker. Uh, Iceman. Is there any of that other captain? No. Um, let's go with Iceman. Why not? Gloves. Oh dear. This is a lot of customization early on in the series. Uh, that's nice. Some nice yellow gloves riding style. Uh, let's go. Oh, this, uh, oh, balance has got to be good. Um. Let's go for, for balance like the doctor himself. Uh, and you can search online content, so that, that all looks good. I'm, I'm hoping that you can probably change all of this later on. So I'm, I'm just going to stick with, with what we've got, I think, for now. Um, you know, worst case scenario for episode two, we might, uh, I might, I might do this off camera. But just want to show you guys the gameplay, really. on our bike, which is going to be absolutely terrible by the way, but um, new candidate available for Chief Engineer, strategy of the technical staff, okay, oh Synergy, sorry, I thought I said strategy for a second, so I could replace him, but I don't want to, I'll just keep with those guys for now, we've got research and development, so very similar to what we had in um, so can we, yeah, so we can, I'll try and work out exactly what we need here, so we require whatever that is, assign staff to this area to be able to develop and install, how do we do that, um, maybe it's in this. Maybe we need to just continue on. Uh, there you go. Customization is there, so we can. I, I'll do that in between episodes. 
let's just continue on a week and see what happens. We're in week two now. Has any of that changed? Ah, okay, so it's gone up a little bit. Uh, so we need to actually um, get a certain amount of uh, those points, whatever they are. So they seem to be going up, which is good. Continue on to week three. And week four as well. There we go. So we will have pre-season testing more than likely, which is, is what I'll maybe show today and then uh, next time out we'll get into our first race but you can see that those are getting a, a little closer now which is good ah hang on there's research here ah okay so mad stuff it's good good Stuff member, I'll go for that. I'll get a couple of more staff members in there, why not? Although, is this all of our staff? Might not be the best idea <laughs> to have all of our staff on, on one area. Um, oh. I wish you could reset to default. What did we have? So, we need to. Who have we got in here? Thierry Roo. So we need those two on the first one. Yeah. And him. Yeah, stick him in. Cool. Yeah, that looks fine to me. Okay. Right push on and now I think we, we should be able to at least get something or oh, not quite manage that one hey there we go so we can develop that get him on on the case it's good to me yeah on to the next week so that looks like winter test so we'll have a look at, at some of the gameplay we'll hopefully see what our pace is as well cool oh ah there was one there actually can we get that Who can we add to that one? Uh, Michael Bauer or Michelle Bauer. I suppose we can add the other guy as well. We might get done as quick as possible. Good, cool. Right, obviously, please let me know down in the comments if you've got any advice at all. Um, well, here we go. Go to the winter tests. Let's see what this is all about. But yeah, I'm not planning this video to be especially long. Uh, just give you guys a flavour of what to expect. And, um, we'll see, hopefully, the first race, maybe tomorrow. There you go, satisfy team objectives during career to earn the title of Elite Rider. Or of First Rider, and increase your reputation, given your, giving you the opportunity. We go. Sepang International Circuit, one I know very well, and the graphics are beautiful for this game. I always think the, the presentation style of, of MotoGP games is uh, is wonderful. So here we go. So we've got pack one, pack two, pack three. Let's go for that. 
development. So that those are the development packs. Track engineer. Uh, consumption check. Cool. Uh, let's go to track. Let's go for a flying start. Here we go then. You'll see how terrible I am at this. Place your bets for, for when we first fall off. It's probably going to be very soon. But here we go. Should have started with MotoGP, should have. The hardest bikes to handle on this game. Oh, it's got brake assist on. Well, we need to change that uh, very soon. Not the tightest line through there, but let's uh, go on to assists. So controls, maybe. Uh, please say I can change the assists. This is ridiculous if I can't change this in game. Um, ah, well, never mind. Never mind. what these things are along the bottom. I know the traction control is the one on the left, but oh, it's very annoying that this has uh, got braking assist on. <laughs> oh, being in my life is uh, braking assist, so I mean, it's a good job that was a terrible corner. Here we go. I need to remember I'm not in an F1 car, so I can't flat out every corner. <laughs> so we go wide. Right. Don't be too mean in the comments about how bad I am at this game. I haven't played it since uh, MotoGP 18. Didn't actually get last year's game. But I do. I do enjoy them. It'll be fun to play through this. and we're off. We're off. Oh, there you go. So anyone that bet two sectors into a, a career would be off into the gravel. Well done. You know, this is just going to be a learning curve really for me, this first few episodes. I certainly need to turn off brake and assist. Whenever that occurs, we've got 0.17 fuel left by the looks of it. We'll come round and we might as well finish the lap. head back to the pits fairly soon but I want to see the the improvement in sector one hey there you go two and a half tenths up getting better never stops it's better you see a lap in don't end up wide here now obviously we've got brake at the on. I don't really know why it's on. You've seen, you've seen exactly what I've pressed, but we're off again. Just taking that a bit too hot. Tough turn. Assume that's power. The one I've just toggled there. Uh, so two 
thirteen is is our target time. Oh no, that's our best lap. Sorry. Just not finish last every race, that'll be a, a, a bit of progress. Here we go. Around the final corner. Come on, this has got to be a better lap. This has got to be a better lap. It's not. <laughs> oh dear. Right, well that, that fuel number's gone up now. I'm sure I, I'm sure I read it was five laps somewhere, so let's have another go here. Might have been going a bit too hot there. There you go, half a second up now. Break nicely in the turn. Tough part of the track. Go off this time. So try and hold our line a little bit. That's better. Oh, a little slide, but we're okay. Now, eight tenths up. That's me. What's going on? <laughs> but yeah, once we once we can get brake assist off be all good so we'll come into the pits after this. Oh invalid lap. Right. Rewind. Seems a bit harsh that that was deemed too much of a corner cut. When they've seen what's happened to us, we've been in the gravel trap twice. Seven seconds up here. This is insanity. Right. Oh, come on. <laughs> Crazy that that's uh, mechanic is in the game, but here we go. A couple of rewinds. But uh, no, I think uh, I think we'll complete this lap and I might actually just finish this episode um, and, and you know uh, have a bit of a practice on the game and we'll come back tomorrow uh, with the first race and hopefully I'll know what I'm doing a bit more with break the assist off and here we are coming up to the line now go for 2.06 Point nine. So let's uh, come back to the pits and we'll, we'll have a little look. Um, at uh, what they reckon. So those are my personal times, which is cool. Uh, I want to see the, the session times. Can I not? Ah, riding aids. There you go. So I can turn all of that off here, which is good. Um, there you go, so Marquez quickest with a 2042, so you know, we're not that far off. I think we could get reasonably closer to that if uh, if we, we turned off brake and assist, but no, I think we'll leave it there for today. It's already 25 minutes, I don't want this to go on too long, uh, but we'll be back tomorrow with uh, more MotoGP action. Uh, we'll be back with the uh, first race of the season in Qatar, I believe. So hopefully you can join me for that. Uh, if you've enjoyed this episode, though, make sure you leave a like down below. Uh, if you've got any advice down in the comment section as well, that would be fantastic. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.